Hello everyone, mind the absolute state that I am, but what's new? So I've just come back from London. Me and Sprout went to see Pretty Woman the musical and it was actually really good. So I had never seen Pretty Woman until a couple of weeks ago. No, way back in January I think, because I knew that her boss was getting it for her birthday. So I was like, I have to watch it because I'll be the one that goes. And I don't want to turn up and not know what happens. Um, so yeah, that was good. The seats were quite small. It was, um, okay, we had like Pizza Hut. And then I got another one of these. Creme Brulee Hot Chop, best one ever. And I was on their website and they've got a lemon drizzle cake one coming out. So you guys know I'm gonna try that one. So yeah, I've just got back. I just wanted to show you my Aldi food shop because I picked up some other stuff and we're trying to eat healthier and I'm trying to cut down on sugar and the processed shit and all of that good stuff. Um, like my cupboards, look how empty they are. Like I'm trying to like use up the bad food gradually so that like I don't buy any more and I have to eat what's there kind of thing. What? I think my babies have missed me. Come on then, say hello to the vlog. My sweet fluffy boy who gave me a heart attack yesterday. He got his head, well, his head wasn't stuck in our dining chairs and his body fell off the chair and his back legs luckily caught the bar. Um, and he was like hanging like this and like, guys, it shit the life out of me, I kid you not. Um, so I've ordered some chair covers so that all of it will be completely blocked and cat proofed. You are so cheeky. You're so soft and fluffy. Tell everyone that you're shedding all your hair. It's all around the house. But I still love your... Honestly, guys, I sometimes think, should I ever have kids and just like get loads of cats? Because like my cats are my life. Yeah. Oh, not on there. You better have ripped a hole in my skims. <gasps> He did as well. No fucking way. No. Oh my God, they've never ripped anything. Sprout, I just picked up your nephew, having a little cuddle. I was literally vlogging it as well. And look what your nephew did, ripped a hole in my brand new skims. So yeah, I haven't really been vlogging. I can't remember what I was saying before that, but I haven't really been vlog <laughs> vlogging because I haven't had much to film. But I have taken a lot of annual leave off in March, so hopefully I'll have a lot of like kids. Pumpkin, leave her alone. Oh Jesus. So hopefully I will have quite a bit more to film. Um, because I've kind of been slacking and even slacking on my main chat. I can't believe that, guys. I actually can't believe that. Maybe I can sub it up, who knows? Yeah, so I'm planning to obviously vlog today. I'll probably vlog tomorrow because I'm gonna make bro-nuts, which is brownies in the shape of donuts because I've got some silicone trays. I'm gonna do Freddo ones and uh, Biscoff ones. And that's kind of like, well, that's not all I'm planning. I'm gonna do that and I need to do overtime and I need to go gym and then we're going to his sister's for dinner. So obviously I'm not gonna vlog that, but yeah, I'm hoping to kind of film here and there again and just combine it all into one vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly get everything out that I got from Audi and I'll show you guys. This is what I got. LucasAid, or fake LucasAid for Bernard. Some milk, some ketchup. Guys, can you just believe that that is four pound for a bottle? It's an absolute joke, but I can't have non-branded ketchup. Like Heinz tomato ketchup is just by far the best. Um, I picked this up, banana, pineapple and coconut smoothie because I'm obsessed with those flavors in the smoothie at the moment. We got some grapes, some strawberries. I do have some bananas as well. And then I do have some apples and oranges that need to be used up. So I didn't want to go too OTT. Pumpkin, it's literally dark out. You can't go out. We've got some cheese. I got bananas, some frankfurters, some cake butter, some chicken for the babies. And then I've got their chicken chipolata, chipolatas to try. Cajun chicken for lunch. I've got some bananas and selects. And then I've got this flavour to try because I've tried the salted caramel and the lemon ones and they're nice. So let's see what they're like. Some frozen chicken breast, some curly fries. We've got some sweet potatoes, which I'm really excited about because I absolutely love sweet potatoes. So I'm excited to have that as like my good carb. Baby potatoes, bananas, carrots, cucumber, beetroot. <laughs> Lots of broccoli. And then Aldi finally have this in, the golden honeycomb, which is obviously new as you can see. I've been dying to try it. Every supermarket I go and they never had it and I didn't expect Aldi to have it, but here we go. And then I've got some milk chocolate for my bro nuts tomorrow. I've got some cream crackers as like a lighter, low calorie snack or 
lunch. Some rich tea because they're low calorie again. And then I picked these up because I did pick up one before, but Bernard ate them, so I never got to try them. And he said they were nice, so I thought I'd get two just in case. And now, this is the meals that I got, which were good because they were quite new. So I got this one for myself, for pulled beef bean chilli. I got Bernard uh, barbecue pulled pork because he's obsessed with that lately. Well, when I say obsessed, I just keep buying it for him. And then I got him this one to try as well. So they were quite expensive. They were like £2.50 for one. Um, I guess it is like a whole little meal. They're high in protein, they're low in fat, and obviously it says how many calories they've got. So that's good. So yeah, that's everything I got. So I'm going to restock the fridge um i need to shower and then i'll probably just chill and spend some time with the babies maybe have a little something to eat because i'm feeling a bit peckish now i'm quite thirsty so yeah i'm gonna put this all away and i'll see you guys when i next vlog i literally just said that and realized i've got some um a delivery that i can show you of my coats and i can finally show you the green coat that i said that i really liked but i sent it back and i was waiting for it to go in the sale as soon as i sent it back it went in the sale which i knew was going to happen or maybe i just manifested it and I literally look like the walking Grinch. So I'll show you guys that when I've done all this. Okay, so so you knew some of my purchases. Totally forgot to show you my new phone case. It's from TK Maxx. Um, it's the guest brand, because obviously I have a lot of their bags. And Sprout spotted like their phone case ages ago. And she was like, oh my God, I really like it, blah, blah. And this TK Maxx had loads in. So I was like, oh, they've got some nice ones. I'll get one. Try not to act like I'm just out of breath, you know? And then, I kind of love like these sort of twirly, twisty earrings. And Sprout wanted to go accessorise to look at the earrings. And of course, I ended up liking a pair. So, these are the ones I got. I think they're so cute. So, they were £10 from accessorise. Now for the big reveal. Okay guys, so you know the pink jacket I had on? I saw they had it in red and it was in the sale. So I might have got it. Oh, hold on, this is different. Is it? Okay, hold on, it don't feel as fluffy as the other one. Let's see what we think. Oh God, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I'm feeling it guys. It's so much more stiffer and not as fluffy. So this doesn't feel exactly the same as my other one, and I'm not 100% sure on it, so I think, I think I'll probably send it back because if I'm not 100% sure, I don't want to waste money. Okay, so this jacket is the Grinch jacket. I got that in a size 16, by the way, and I got this green one in a size 16. It was originally £80, and it was down to like 67 Originally £90, sorry. Down to 80 down to 67 Oh my god, why can't I speak? Like, this isn't going to be to everyone's taste. I'm really going to stand out in it. But, like, this is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It is. Guys, it's so, like, soft as well. Like I said, it's a bit out there. It's not going to be to everyone's taste. It's a little bit tight, like, round here, but... I'll probably keep it undone I guess but I don't want to get a bigger size because obviously it's already like quite puffy and quite big but yeah I love it guys I'm gonna rock it you guys know I love a bit of colour and I love a bit of green so that's what I have to show you guys so I'll next pick up the vlog whenever
say good morning to the vlog because mummy don't want to be on camera because she looks a mess right now. Say good morning. Yeah. Okay guys, so they didn't take too long. I think I just left them in for under 20 minutes. But they look good so far. I definitely think I could have put some more height on them. Um, especially like that one, look. But first time practice, trial and error. So I'll let them cool down. I'm gonna go make myself look a bit decent, do some overtime, um, as well as wait for these to cool and then ice them and put the Freddo's and Lotus Biscoff on. I did also have some other ones in here to use up the rest, so that's what you saw me doing. Okay, so this is the finale. They have actually come out so much smaller than expected, but it's okay, I think I'm making work. So I'm gonna melt some chocolate, I'm gonna melt the Biscoff spread, and we'll dip them in and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, this is the finished product. So I'm gonna use these to take pictures for Instagram with. I've got some more over here and then I've just got some spare ones, one broke. Um, just yeah, for me and Bernard really because these will be for his family. So yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures, box them up, and have my lunch, go gym. Yeah, that's the plan. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning guys, so I've just received a parcel that I'm going to open on camera because I have wanted to try this for the longest time. I have no faith that it's going to fit and that it's going to be squat proof, but you'll see why I wanted to try it. Ooh. Shimmery pink. I love it. I'm going to go try it on upstairs take you guys with me um this is from beach riot it's not cheap at all and i got it from a site called revolve but it was always out of stock and it looks so much brighter on the website but i actually prefer the color in real life but a lot of people said that it was see-through so i'm hoping for the best but i don't have much faith because they only got to an extra large so we'll see how it fits put you guys there for now so i'm gonna try it on Look at that, it gives me bikini vibes. <laughs> they look small. Oh my God, I'm not gonna get them on. Let's try it. Okay guys, I got it on, but because the leggings are so stretched out, it kind of looks like a different color to the top. Now the top is not flattering at all. Like, it just isn't. Like this bit just looks so like chubby. But if it's okay, it's not the best. It's definitely not gonna be like medium support at all. It'd probably be low support. There's like a double lining, there's no padding. I've got a red foam on and you can literally see right through it. Like this would be so cute had it been thicker. It was a bit of a struggle to get on, but it's actually not too bad like now it's on, but it does feel tight and this does sort of roll down a bit. I don't think the back is gonna be squat proof at all either. The back is definitely not squat proof. Um, it does an okay job at like hiding my cellulite and stuff. Like it's not too bad. But yeah, this is definitely gonna have to go back because I can't wear that. Good morning, guys. It's been a few days since I've vlogged. Now, my hair is quite like fluffy today. Look at my fringe. When I cut it, I went ch -ch -ch, and I must have cut a bit of a bigger chunk. Sometimes it's how like I blow dry my fringe because I remember when I was like, I don't know if it was like in school or college, everyone used to think I straightened my fringe. Like, who has time for that? Just wet it and blow dry it. Yeah, I am off to Blue Water today to meet my mum and Sprout. So I've got some stuff to give them. I just wanted to show you guys what we bought her 
Foss's dog for Easter. I picked up some ice biscuits. So these are like technically from me. And then this is from Sprout. It's just a uh, Easter egg and a treat bar for dog. So I got it at Pets at Home. Um, obviously if you're America, it's just our little pet shop. And then I got some Easter eggs. And then I got my mum some, if you haven't tried these, if you live in the UK, you have to. Mini egg nest cakes, they are the bomb.com. In my Hawaii bag, I absolutely love this bag. Honestly, I just, I can't wait to travel back to America. We're hoping to do New York at the end of the year, like Christmas, like my birthday. Um, and then hopefully do like a bigger holiday next year in LA, depending on if they relax more of the restrictions. But yeah, I am just literally getting ready. This is my outfit, guys. Nothing spectacular. It's a flowy top with some new leggings. And then I'm gonna put my nude Converse's with it because I'm just trying to like venture out and wear like some of my other stuff that I have. So I'm just let the babies outside, I'm just giving them food. I'm basically just sort of hanging around now because I don't need to leave just yet. I'm not gonna vlog in blue water, but if I do, I will use my phone. I won't take my camera with me. And then I'll show you guys what I've got. I also forgot to say, I'm ill. I started off with a sore throat and then I woke up the next day and oh my God, I felt so rough. I had to leave work early because I went into the office. Um, and I've had like a bunged up nose. I've got a chesty cough. And because obviously I have asthma, I have to be careful because every time I get ill, it always affects my chest. So that's not fun. Um, but yeah, I think I'm slowly recovering anyway. So yeah, I am gonna leave in a sec and I will catch up with you guys either in blue water or when I'm back. Right, we're in Primark. Look at the Sprout snazzy outfit, guys. I mean, the bag's not matching, but... I need to get like um. No, mum, I don't like that. Like a nudie no, colour bag. No, I don't like it. But that's got a zip because I was gonna use a nude, use a nude one, but it just buttoned over. You need a nude version of that. No, mum. Guys, look how cool the Smurf stuff is. I'm getting these. Love this, sis. But the thing is, their stuff's so expensive now. £13. Oh, I might have to get the bottoms. Yeah, I'm getting the bottoms. Oh, love them. £9. Right, guys, I found another set. So... You've seen I've got like Tom and Jerry ones like these and flower bottoms, but these are so comfy. I'm not like super keen on Bugs Bunny being there, but I like the pink. This is buying the set. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I came for. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I like the bottoms though, but I mean, again, how many bottoms do I need? I liked these, but are they sat in. Yeah. Oh, damn. They would get ruined by the kittens. I like the daisy bra thing, look. That is so cute. Um, what the fuck is going on with TikTok? <clears throat> and I'm vlogging. Maple, you're doing so well. Are you showing off for the camera? Oh, he's zoomed off in it. Just giving him a little groom. Aren't I? Just being outside taking some pictures of him. Never mind the state of me. I'm going to make myself look a bit more present Ooh. presentable soon. And then I'll show you guys what I picked up from Primark. Um, I also need to show you actually the gift my mum got me. Look what my mum got me. I've got sunflower solar lights. So when I do the garden, I'll put them in with the other ones that I got. But yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment, guys. I just wanted to show you me grooming them because it's so cute. Okay, so I've only done my eyelashes, but I thought I would show you guys what I've got in Primark. And then I'm also going to try them on as well. So I thought I might as well just do it on camera. So... I got these, I haven't even tried them on yet. I'm not gonna put them on camera because no one wants to see my crusty feet. But they were six pound, I got them in a medium, five to six. And they're just like chunky flip-flops. They give me like croc chunky vibes. Um, my mum tried them on in the shop because I was like, someone's gonna have to try them on for me to see if they're comfy or not. Oh, they're gonna be horrible. Oh my God, my feet look absolutely ridiculous in these. Let me show you Sprout. Yeah, they're definitely gonna have to go back because they're ridiculously uncomfy. And then I got some random puffies. Oh, 
Oh guys, I didn't even show you. So we got these set of four um, like snack boxes. They were originally eight pounds. They're from Paper Chase, but Paper Chase is closing down in the UK. So I think Tesco's are bought in. They're gonna put it in like Tesco stores. So they were 40% off, which made them like four pound 80 or something. And then they were two pound 40. So that was a bargain. So if I stick with the same thing, and then basically I got some playing cards because I don't have any cards here. And like for when Sprout comes around, if we ever wanna play Snap or Solitaire or anything like that. So you have that on the back and then obviously they're just you know, more playing cards. So that's quite cool. And they were like three pounds, I think. And then I showed you guys these in the vlog, but I did pick them up. They are so comfy, they're nine pounds. They don't have cuff bottoms, but I do find that they shrink. So I bought them in an extra large, which I'm gonna try that on in a second because I bought the matching top, which I don't think I showed you guys. I mean, this is also nine pounds. Like I don't know, like product prices are just so high now, but how can they justify the top being nine pound and the bottom is being nine pound? But at least like it is all in sort of broided on um, apart from that. And that was nine pounds. I got that in a size large. Let's hope that fits. And then I bought the Smurf bottoms. I got them in an extra large. So hopefully they'll fit, we'll try them on. And then I bought these Alice socks, which I'm sure I don't have, but I can't remember if I picked them up or not. Um, they were £3.50. So again, Primark has put their price up because they never used to be that expensive. I'm sure they used to be like 2 50 And they got the little oysters. And then what I don't know if I vlogged or not, I had to get the yellow set because I don't have yellow. And it's just so gorgeous. I've got an extra large because I'm going to start buying them an extra large where I can because they just fit a lot better. And that was £6. And then I love this set. They had Hummer ones. So I had to pick up in the lime green. It is like kind of like a G string type thong. It does have clasps on the back, but again, got it in a large and it was six pounds. And I've just bought a set that's kind of similar to this color, but it was hot. So I was like, oh, that's gonna be nice. So let's try all of that on. So that is literally all I bought. I didn't buy much at all, but I kind of didn't want to as well because I do need to save some dosh because we have got Poland at the end of the month. Right, so I definitely needed the large in the top because it fits perfect. And then these also fit really well as well. They probably will shrink a little bit. They are like a tiny bit loose, but yeah, they will shrink. Okay, and then this is the green set. I'm not gonna keep it on for too long because I feel like it's a little bit sheer. Um, but yeah, it's cute. I'm not gonna show the back, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna end out the vlog here and then I'm gonna continue vlogging throughout this week because I have a couple of days off. And me and Bernard are gonna make pizzas later, so I'll probably vlog that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.